Hi guys and welcome back to Fallout 76. Today I want to look at the humble pepperoni roll. Now, it wasn't long after Wastelanders came out that I noticed that these were dropping on the uh, riding shotgun event. I'll pull up that location here in a second. But every time I completed the riding shotgun event, one of the rewards I was getting was a pepperoni roll. And I thought this pepperoni roll was amazing. Why? Because it took forever to spoil, unlike everything else, and what is really impressive about the pepperoni roll, on top of the fact that it <laughs> takes forever to spoil, is it gives you plus 30 carry weight, plus 30 carry weight. So here we are here in the Big Ben Tunnel East. This is where the riding shotgun event begins. So anyway, plus 30 carry weight doesn't spoil too often, and I about 40, it satisfies about 40% of your hunger, right? So I thought, ooh, these are tasty. Tasty, 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 tasty. It's a pretty cool um, food item. Again, it's the spoilage that gets me. But on top of that, plus 30 carry weight, absolutely fantastic. So I, I picked up a few of them, you know, over the course of a few events. But recently enough, I did actually come across the recipe. And I thought, hey, you can actually make these in-game. This is something definitely worth doing. And so that's what we'll be doing. So first and foremost, to get the recipe, we need to go to the crater, where the raiders are at. Now, in order to buy the recipe, the reputation you need to have with them, you need to be at Neighborly. You won't be able to buy this unless you're at Neighborly, but fear not, because if you are at Neighborly, uh, I'm at Ally, yes. If you are at Neighborly, you can you can buy one every, th every time you're there. Every, every day you load into the server or whatnot, pick up an extra one, sell it in your vending machine. I've seen a few people selling these now. I'm selling these as well. So if you're working on the settlers side of the reputation for now and you're thinking, ah, drat, Digi, I'll never be able to get that. Just buy it in a vending machine. I'm selling a few. So here we are up here with Molly in the pharmacy. And you'll see it there, recipe I only 110 caps. So we'll once. buy that bad boy. And next we're going to have to have a look at what exactly it is we're going to need to craft it. Now, one of the things we're going to need is wood, and I have no short supply of wood. I, I suspect <laughs> I suspect the person that was dropping it was a, a duper, but you know what? He dropped everything from wood to lead to steel, and me and everyone else around him, we just picked it up and ran before he could change his mind. Here's a pepperoni roll. Um, I need Brahmin milk, uh, gulper innards, pepper, and uh, razor grain. Pepper's a really tricky one, believe it or not. There's a video up in the top right of the screen now to satisfy the pepper requirement. It is all over the place in abundance. You just got to know where to look. Um, so yeah, as I said, wood, ha, not a problem at all. Milk, milk is a fun one. Milk goes bad quickly enough. So I do have a refrigerated backpack. Um, I also have a refrigerator that I got from the Adam store. And if you go to your camp and you go to the... Um, the resources section, you can craft a fertilizer thingy bob, and the fertilizer thingy bob will make sure there's a Brahmin in your camp. You can go over and try and milk him. Sometimes you're successful, as with all Brahmins, sometimes you're not. I wasn't in this particular case, but I have been in the past. Back to Big Bend uh, Tunnel East. Believe it or not, there's some Brahmin down here as well. So here we are at the entrance. Before you would begin the riding shotgun event, right? Oh, no, okay. Just turn and burn. And in here, this little pen here, there are some Brahmin as well. So you can just try to milk them. Some will kick, some will do nothing, some will give you nothing. You'll know what you got in the top left of your screen if you got anything. Like there, I got some Brahmin milk. Here, I got five. All right, so we're up to six. That's good for what? Three pepperoni rolls. Not bad at all. The Wayward is another place where you can milk some Brahmin. There's a few people around there. Are they milking them? No. Okay, it's just me. I'm going to be the weird one. So it looks like there's uh, two or three, three in the pen here as well. So we'll see if we can get any milk out of these guys. We'll come back to that, dude. Actually, you know, I might have milked him already. I think I've milked this one already as well, actually. Um, I haven't milked this one. And no, he doesn't want to be milked, but look, we won't worry about it. Another place you could check, by the way, is Flatwoods. There's a loads of Brahmin there, but we have what we need. And I actually had some from earlier. It popped in my fridge as well. So I'm not doing too bad for milk, but you got to get it keep them refrigerated. If you have the refrigerator from the Adam store, great. If you don't, um, you can get the refrigerated mod for the backpack. Check the description or check the link in the top right of the screen. 
Right, so with the refrigeration out of the way, by the way, you don't have to refrigerate anything. You could just do this last, get the milk last. We want to go to Silver Homestead next to get our razor grain. Now, as soon as you spawn in, you run up here to the field. This is all corn. Um, it's useful for other things. Feel free to pick it up if you have the space. This is just how I get my bearings. I head into the cornfield and then I start running in this general direction towards the uh, Billings Homestead. The Billings Homestead workshop just in front of it is, um, I'll show you here, just in front of it, like this whole area is covered in razor grain. This is your go-to razor grain unless you're growing it at your camp. You can grow this at your camp. I kind of regret not growing it at my camp and I'm probably going to start growing it at my camp. Okay, I'm not alone here. I'm just going to deal with it. this. Um, this rifle is overkill for what we're trying to achieve. Here's a field of razor grain, wild razor grain. It's just everywhere. We need two of these for every um, pepperoni roll that we want to make. Now, I'm going to grab lots of them because I'm planning on planting some just a little later. Take as many as you need. And finally, um, we can jump up here to Gulper Lagoon for the uh, for the innards. So this could be a bit of a battle. Make sure you have Butcher's Bounty. If you have Butcher's Bounty um, per card, you should probably enable that. It gives you a chance to find extra meat from animal corpses. So as you approach the corpse, it may proc, and if it procs, you get even more meat. So that'll be even more innards for us. So there's uh, there were a few around here. I'm trying to keep track of where these things die before I can't find them anymore. But yeah, this is um this place is glowing with um, with gulpers. It's a fantastic spot. That as the name implies, you know. Just jump in here every once in a while or server hop if you want. To, uh, if you want to cook pepperoni rolls at an industrial size level, you'd want to be server hopping this for a while. There's the uh, Butcher's Bounty procking, which tells me I get a bit more innards there, so that's three. And uh, of course, I'll get some from the other ones as well. That's actually a rock, so we can ignore that. Uh, that one's proc now as well, so we've got four out of that, and there's another one I will find. So, that seems to be everything we need. I've just got to pop some milk out of the fridge now. I'm going to take, I'm, I'm going to do an experiment here. So I'm taking the ones that have good condition and the ones that are bad because I'm also testing out the um, the refrigerated backpack mod that I've installed. Now, before I go ahead and make my pepperoni rolls, I want to make sure my super duper card is active. This gives me a 30% chance when it's maxed out to create an extra one, which is pretty cool. So let's have a look here now. We're going to do the pepperoni roll. Yep, we're good to go. We'll get three. We're going to get at least three out of this. There's one and I heard it proc. I heard super duper proc. That was that noise. So now we're up to one more left. So I've made three, but super duper is proc. So that should actually... So I'll have some flour while I'm here as well. We'll waste that boiled water. That And there's that icon for super duper as well. So that should actually give me four. Pepperoni rolls. Awesome. So no longer do we have to go and repeat uh, riding shotgun over and over and over and over. You can just make these bad boys yourself. And look at that. After eating one, for 59 more minutes, my carry weight is plus 30. And if a refrigerated backpack mod is something you're interested in, you should know that having a refrigerated backpack mod costs you about 30 carry weight. So this uh, balances it out quite nicely. So hopefully you found that video some bit useful. If you liked it, please do hit that like button and like the video. If you're not already subscribed, consider a subscription. And until next time, take it easy. All the best.